I had talked to a couple other agents before and I remember some of them saying, hey, I think you're really great. I'm gonna make you a star. And I just thought, oh, that is so gross. And I talked to John on the phone for the first time and he said to me, hey, I'm gonna make you a great storyteller. And when I heard his pitch that he wants to improve and grow storytelling in local news, I was on board. But one of the things you realize with John pretty early on in the process is that he's not like other agents. He's been behind the camera. He cares about the kind of stories that you're putting on the air, the way that you're telling those stories. He's so laid back, really easy to talk to, but don't mistake that for an inability to push. Uh, he, he pushes me to be better. Uh, he's relentless in his, his passion for good storytelling. He knows exactly what I'm going through every day in the field, and he's able to give me really good advice that's applicable. John is not only an agent, he's a coach, he's a mentor, and his name means something in this business. People know who he is, so when he puts his name and his reputation behind you, people listen. I think John really has more of an approach that's focused a lot heavier on storytelling. And if you're really trying to get in into that world um, and get connected with those people, you know, John is immersed in it. 10 days after I signed with him, I had an interview here in Market 20. A month after that, I had a job offer. Uh, I took it. I'm super happy here and I credit Sound of Life Media and John for getting me to where I am today. And I have no regrets that I signed with him because within a few weeks of doing so, he landed me a job in a much larger market than I ever expected. And I know that the, uh, the decision to sign with with an agent or which agency to sign with is a big and a personal one, but uh, I have not looked back since signing with John and I couldn't be happier. And I have to say, things are looking pretty good here in Orlando.